Hello friends, this video on alcohol, phenol and ether part 9 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let's understand isomers in alcohol, phenols and ethers. We've already studied isomers in the previous chapter. Isomers are uh, the compound which has same molecular formula but different structural formula. Right? We have discussed this a lot. And alcohol, phenols and ethers generally shows three types of isomers. Chain isomers, position isomers and functional isomers. We'll talk about these things in details. Fine. Chain isomers. So this is the difference in structure of the carbon attached to OH group. I'll take it from an example. I have, for example, I have this guy. That is butanol, and this guy. So in both cases, you see the structure, uh, the molecular formula is same, but. The structure of the carbon, this is the carbon that is attached to H group, that is different. Correct? Right? This is the branch one, this is the straight. The structure of the carbon chain that is attached is different. It's a straight chain, this is a branch chain, right? So they are called chain isomers. The next is the position isomers. In position isomers, it is all because of the difference in the position of the OH group attached, for example. I have this compound, this is propane 1 all and this is propane 2 all. Both the same, the OH group position is different. Right? This is called position isomer. Third is the functional isomers. In this case, the molecular formula is same, but the functional group is totally different. For example, if you see this is ethanol and dimethyl ether, both has same functional uh, sorry the molecular formula let me add all hydrogens to for a better understanding correct so it has two carbon and six hydrogen one oxygen both has same but the functional group itself is totally different this kind of isomer is called Functional isomers. So here, if you see the alcohol phenols and ether shows functional isomers, chain isomers, and position isomers. We'll take some numericals on this. We have to draw all the structures of all isomeric alcohols. Please know only alcohols you have to draw for this formula. That means so from this we can get ethers, aldehydes, ketones. We don't have to draw that. Only alcohols. Correct. From C5H12O, that is the first thing we can draw is the straight one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and OH. So in this case, you see 3 hydrogen, 2, 2, 2, 2. So you add this 3 plus 2, 5 plus 2, 7 plus 9, 11. 5 plus 7 plus 9, 11 plus 1, 12. This is the correct one of the structure, right? So in, now we can follow the chain isomers and we can draw three more structures for this, correct? So instead of OH in one position, position one, I can draw in position two, somewhere here, one, two, three, four, five, OH somewhere here, and what I can draw is one, two, three, four, five, OH somewhere here. So if I now put OH here, this will be similar to this. If I put OH here, this will be similar to this. So three chain isomers I can draw. Correct. Now we have to draw, sorry, the three position isomers I have drawn. Correct. Let's draw the chain isomers now. So I can make this guy as instead of straight, I can make it as branch. Correct. So what I can do is, I can make this as branch, so I'll get something like this. One, two, three, four, five. This is one, right? Five carbon, I made it branch. Correct. So I have this kind of structure. Where all I can put hydroxygen here? I can put here. Can I put here? Yes, I can put here. Correct. Can I put here? Yes, I can, but it will be all same. Can I put here? There's so many possibilities, right? Let, let's see what will happen. So 
let's try. So I can put somewhere one here, one here, one option is here, one option is here. So let me try all these four options. Let me draw these. First skeleton and then I'll draw oxygen layer. Correct. So one option was to put oxygen here, other was to put oxygen here, the other was to put oxygen here, and the other was to put oxygen OH here. Right? Let's see, are they similar? So this guy, if you see, if you name it number one, two, three, four, like that, so it will be one, one, two, two methyl, butane, one all. So this will be, let me use some other color. So what I've done is I've named these compounds now, right? So all these things I've named now, correct? Similarly, I can do the numbering for these also now, names. So if you see this, this is the name of the compound. This is pentane 1-all, pentane, this is pentane 2-all, this is pentane 3-all, this is at 2 I have methyl and uh, 2 methyl butane 1-all. Here I have 2 I have methyl butane 2-all, here I have if you see, 3i uh, methyl, butane 2 all, and here if you have 3 methyl, butane 1 all. So these are the structures possible. Now, instead of this structure, instead of this structure, let's check something else. So instead of this, we, we took this structure, right? So instead of this, if I take it here, it's all same, right? See, till now what we have done, once we took one as a straight one, the 5 carbon, the other thing we took is this. Two possible, right? If you take here also, it's same. Now what we can take is we can take something like this, right? So let's take this. So we have something like this. Now in this, I can add OH anywhere. It's all same. I can add OH in anywhere. It's all same. And with this, if you see the compound we got is this two to dimethyl propanol. So what we have seen when there was a straight chain. Then we have branch chain, we have furthermore branch chain, three possible options. In all these, this was my first option, in that I got three different uh, position isomers. Then I had this second option, in this I got four more position isomers. And then I had this, the branch one, in this I got only one isomer because you add OH anywhere of any, uh, in any of these four carbons, you get same compound. So total we have three plus four, seven plus one, eight. So we got eight isomers. So hope you understand what we did. Not that difficult task actually. First the straight one, straight chain, you got three isomers. Then we have the branch one. Only one possible branching is possible here. In the branch one, we got further four possible isomers. And then we have got one more tertiary branch. Here we got one isomer. Total we have eight isomers. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality educational videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.